it gives me immense pleasure today uh, to welcome you to the official, official launch of the county GIS system and the website. Uh, we have made great progress on the website in the last two years. The Mandera website is among the few websites updated on a daily basis with a, a set of that content. What is more is that the public visit our domain every day. Uh, we, we get information every, every hour about a particular message that we have received. And most of those information is based on the tenders, the job vacancies available, or where they can be able to find maybe the Mandera, refer, uh, you know, the Mandera Health Department, where the, the location. So we attend to those uh, views and uh, the grievances where possible. Because of course, most of the grievances we are not able to tackle, especially when someone is asking about, uh, can you give me such and such kind of job? So ours is just to provide uh, general information to the public. Uh, so uh, we have come uh, from far, especially when it comes to updating our website, because uh, two years ago, or actually briefly three years ago, the Mandela County website was not that much uh, you know, active. You know, information maybe can stay in for a whole year without it being updated. So now we took, uh, we took our, uh, you know, this initiative whereby uh, we have our website manager who is always working on it. So I'll also take this uh, opportunity to urge my uh, fellow chief officers and this CECs, also the directors, to share information with us so that we can be able to benefit the public information, uh, the public with the information that they might require. Uh, the, the, our second project is about the GIS. Mandela County has achieved a very big milestone when it comes to mapping all its landmark on the Google platform. I believe uh, there is no county that has taken that initiative. And we are, I think we are the first one to start the GIS mapping system. I hope and believe that once we, we, we are able to map all our landmarks in two months time, all the, all the other counties will follow suit, inshallah. Um, uh, also, as the county, uh, you know, continues to improve its e-government services, we hope uh, with, the, with the availability of the 5G network, someone can just navigate through the Google uh, map platform or the Google Earth to be able to, you know, reach Elwak. So, like, when you have the Google map system, you just uh, write Elwak, and then it just gives you direction until you, until you reach your, you know, destination. Just like in Nairobi and other, and other major towns, I hope with, the, with that availability, we can be able to achieve that. Um, this GIS also is able to guide our external uh, you know, investors, the external stakeholders, the government, and other county uh, stakeholders to be able to, to get information when it comes to our, uh, you know, our objectives, goals, and also achievements. Um, I'd also like to thank His Excellency for giving uh, us the opportunity to be able to do this noble course. We really appreciate, inshallah, and uh, we hope to do more. I want us to benefit from this ICT gadget. You've known the world is a global village, and in this room, I can see most of you are digital. There are very few people who are analog here. So if you are digital and you don't get advantage of the digital platform, it's going to be a bit unfortunate. Uh, our website, most of the senior staff here use email address that are of domain of Hotmail, Gmail, Yahoo, the likes. Yet we have a website that is supposed to be very official and we are using uh, official, uh, instead of using the official email, we are using other domains. My advice to you is that let us encourage to use the county government website uh, email address that everybody is entitled to, and that creation of the website address can be done easily by the ICT department. The county secretary, county executive committee members, chief officers, and Mandela County senior staff that are here, once again, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we are here to officially launch two critical 
programs under the ICT department for the county government and the people of Mandera, as well as Kenyans and our external stakeholders globally. These two projects are the relaunch of Mandera County website that has seen a lot of improvement, as well as the launch of Mandera GIS mapping program, geographical information system mapping program for all the government programs and projects and uh, you know facilities uh, and services that uh, we are providing. For Mandera County website, Mandera, uh, the website provides a platform where people can access critical information about the county, including development projects, progress reports, county integrated development plan, budget estimates. It also features news and has embedded videos with valuable information for public consumption. The, web, the website serves as a mirror to the world where we can learn about Mandera County's history, organizational values, codes, or code of ethics, activities, achievements, projects, and programs over the period that we are in operation. Uh, as shared by the Chief Officer for ICT, uh, we've been striving to make sure that our website is as interactive as possible, as up to date as possible with respect to information that is ongoing. I know this is a huge challenge, uh, even for very big organizations, but it is my desire and hope that we will continue being very uh, effective in terms of making sure the website is up to date. The website also provides an interface for online services such as payment of bills, access of business uh, license, job applications and tenders, among many other information that you get on the website. I am very impressed, uh, Abdukadir Tache. I mean, I want to take one example. Lately, I receive uh, prompt alerts about payment of my water bill. And your SMS say, hey, dear governor, your bill is overdue. <laughs> uh, and I'm happy uh, because that is where we want to go, even with respect to business license. You are aware the business license, before it expires, uh, yeah, or as it falls due, you get an alert to tell you this. And the future of organizational management is in ICT. We need to make sure that we get our ICT program working, you know, in tandem with the global trend in terms of what needs to be done. And it's the challenge that each, each one of us needs to take upon themselves uh, as a personal challenge to make sure that you embrace ICT because that is the future of management. Uh, you make sure that whatever you do, the documented information required is all up to date. Government reports are public documents, and uh, whenever you have success stories and uh, your report, you need to share them formally with ICT departments so that it is updated. And it also provides an archive of information that can be recalled, you know, in the world space. Uh, several years uh, later, you will be able to recall your data out of uh, the global space, uh, you know, the cloud space that uh, we store a lot of information. And it's something that, you know, ministries, departments, and I have insisted all the time. Our communication need to be on the basis of data in, in terms of your success stories need to be on the basis of data and graphical image, uh, you know, that is formulated upon, upon a representation of fact, you know, uh, where you're able to say in Ministry of Health, uh, five years ago when I took over uh, the ministry as CEC, this is what I inherited and you are able to show graphically what you inherited. And then of critical importance is you, are, you must be able to also indicate graphically how have you improved the various health indicators of the graphs that you have shown. And that information should not be 
with you only. It should be out there for the public to read. How have you improved maternal access, you know, from where it was to where it is right now, and graphically? Uh, and you can represent in facts what was your average deliveries in the hospital before you took over the office? What are your average deliveries now? How many uh, uh, com birth complications did you have? What were maternal deaths, either whether it is the child or the mother? Uh, Islamically, we believe wherever time that you are destined to go, you will go. Nevertheless, but humanly, they are, the, the extent of the service provision you do, reflective of the quality of services you do. I mean, I'm just taking one example. I mean, the level of impatience, number of persons having access to the CT scans in, in, in your facility, or, or you know, dialysis services, and many others. How many of those are foreigners? How many are locals? Because we serve beyond our border, and that is our pride uh, as, as, as a community. We are part of that community of nations, uh, and as a country, Kenya, as a county neighboring with two international borders, we can turn away patients from our neighbors. And these are the issues that we need reflected graphically so that as you discuss the successes, ministry by ministry, you're able to indicate we've been here, we've moved, we're here, and you're able to indicate that part of your website in terms of information. So many people asking will be able to get the answers. And uh, then you will have a lot of uh, voluntary and involuntary advocates who are going to, you know, if somebody says something negative, a lot of people will pull data from the website and be able to say what you are saying, you have no fact. The fact is here. And that is the basis of what we have. You need to embrace ICT, inevitably, at whatever age. Uh, ICT is the future of every program that we do. And that's why I push, you know, Venusa and I tell her, you must strive to give your best. Challenge yourself to see uh, that you're able to go at corporate level in terms of the ICT programs that we have. We are not there yet, but I can affirm that we have made quite a lot of progress in that area. Uh, the website uses latest web technology available in the market and comes with better security features. It is user friendly, easy to access, meaning easy to navigate in uh, ICT terms. It is designed, themes stand out uh, from the rest of the websites. It has an interactive feedback and communication system that allows the public to tender their views. Now, the views from the public also need to be responded. Queries need to be answered. And then uh, you find uh, later what we need from the website is an automatic system that sends the query to the right ministry immediately. And uh, then a follow-up um, you know, message for you to provide the answers on the website. Because if there are only questions and there are no answers posted, and people need to acknowledge, and that acknowledgement need to be posted. And that is the purpose of calling it truly interactive, where there is query and there is response in terms of that interaction. Uh, the county also provides uh, an avenue where crucial documents like county integrated development plan, annual development plan, a county budget and other documents are able to be accessed from the website. It is on this website that Mandela County Public Service Board also advertises employment opportunities when vacancies become available. And now by extension, the head of public service, the county secretary, not only advertise for jobs, but when you get successful candidates already selected and recruited, you also post so that it's not only advert, that finally, from this process, the outcome of what we have done is that. Uh, I would therefore urge the members of the public uh, to be regular users of the website, to 
access critical information about county activities and services. Our, our, our website can be accessed through www.mandera.go.ke. On the Mandera GIS mapping system, it is a geographical information system, which is a system for capturing, storing, checking, displaying data related to positions on earth service of various uh, projects, programs, facilities of the county government. It features a database for management of geographical data. In short, if you want to check on any locality in Mandera, you can easily access it through the GIS system. The main aim of Mandera GIS is to map and visualize Mandera County's geospatial data using Google Maps platform, uh, and by extension, Google Earth. Google Maps pro provide the layout of roads, the location of cities, towns, villages, state boundaries, geographical features, restaurants, uh, reviews, and satellite images, among many others. This will enhance the ability uh, to check possible routes and landmarks for faster travel time. Mandera County is, as a remote county, we are striving to make sure that we benefit from Google Maps. And uh, that process, what we have just done, is uh, step number one of many other steps to come. Uh, Hassanur, the municipal manager, is not here. The next critical issue we want to do is for Mandera Town. We are going to do street naming, the naming of roads and uh, streets and that, and collaboration with, uh, you know, lands ministry in order to make sure that we, we start going the global way. There are many roads, no road has any name. To Tanza Ivi Karibuni, na Tumesha Zungumza na Municipal Manager, uh, your program of naming of the main roads. And then the, the Ministry of Lands will have to start giving physical numbering of plots so that then this road, plot number this, which is not the LR number particularly, but a physical number given uh, for purpose of making sure you're able to go from point A to B. And that is our aspiration in terms of making sure we get uh, the program of the physical address system, which goes hand in hand with uh, the GIS mapping and Google Maps. And that will only po be possible if all the roads, uh, highways, and, uh, and alleys, and uh, streets are all named. And that is a process that uh, the municipal manager have told him, Lazima tuanze kabla sijatoka kwa ofisi. Na so that we start giving Mandera people an experience similar to what people in Nairobi and other areas are enjoying in terms of physical address system. Right now, you know we remotely explain. Ukiuliza alnura naka wapi. You have to be labor about saying in reference to somebody else across, you know, this road and that other road, before you actually say so-and-so lives in this address, you would have gone through a lot of torture to explain it. And that is what we want to move away from in order to make sure that we do this. Now, the GIS mapping program has been done as presented by the consultant. Of course, this information needs to be published on Google Maps. Google Maps has a very long queue of, uh, because of the global service they provide. But they have guaranteed us that within the next, within the next 60 days, our information will be live in terms of both Google Earth and Google Maps you're able to see. Right now, if you, you know, sometimes Google Banisa, Utapata, the image of Banisa in Google Earth is four or five years, you know, old. LWAC is four or five years old because we've not had much interaction with the entity. And we need, as we do this, we'll be able to get regular update of the mapping that takes shape uh, in terms of 
satellite images that is taken. And you're able to show growth, you know, from here, an image. And like Mandera Town is updated very regularly. The, you know, the longest I've seen, because I am a frequent user of Google Earth, the, the, the one that I saw maybe has taken the longest is six months. But they normally update regularly after every three, four months. So you're able to show, you know, literally growth and changes every shot that is taken of Mandela Town as it is. This is the future, and this is what we, where we need to be. Without wasting a lot of time, I would like to declare the county website and GIS uh, mapping system officially launched.